Hey team, I wanna share something with you that maybe you don't know. Um, if you're struggling, this is especially relevant if you're struggling with a slow adoption cycle, uh, you've got a great product, you've got people who have used it, are using it and love it, okay, but you're just not getting the traction that you want. Be patient. Now it's key that you have people that actually use it and love it and think it's great and you can start to leverage their stories and um, testimonials and, and feature them to, in order to get more traction. But the point of this is to share with you kind of the adoption cycle of the automobile, the motor car, okay? Did you know that the first car was actually invented, built, and on the road in 1885? Okay, 1885. Now, the, and the first driver, by the way, was a woman, was the, the wife of Carl Benz, Bertha Benz, who drove from Mannheim to Forzheim in, in 1888. Um, so the first, you know, reasonable trip in a car was driven by a woman. Um, the car was basically built and started in 1885. But when you go to look at uh, like auto museums, I was in one in Michigan a while back, and None of the cars on display, except for that, are really there until like 1902, 1902, 1904. And then those are the small little wagons that basically look like the same or very, very near the same design, same vehicle as 1885. That's almost 20 years, right? And it wasn't until 19, I've, I don't know exactly, but 1912 or something like that, where mass production really started to happen. And then you saw... From there, if you see a car like a Model T or Model A, those types of Fords that were mass produced, and you compare them to cars only 10 or 20 years later, the 12 cylinder sheet metal hot rod, you know, um, super fast, super powerful, some of the, you know, really cool cars out there, it, the, the, the adoption and the adaptation and all accelerated tremendously after the first lag, okay? But 1885 to like 1904, before we really started making cars and people started buying them. And even then it was just a very, very small fraction, a tiny segment of the population. And there were, you know, there were little, literally people saying, we need faster horses, nobody will, will ever buy a car. And that's reminiscent of Blackberry. Remember the Blackberry CEOs, right? We've got all, we've all got these now. Well, these aren't that old, okay, the touch screen. When the first touchscreen was out there, BlackBerry CEO went to the other one. There were co-CEOs and said, hey, they're doing this thing. Um, it's going to change everything. And the other one said, don't worry, everybody wants a keyboard. So sometimes adoption happens quickly. Sometimes it takes a long time. Stick with your message. Stick with your value proposition. Tell the stories of the success of your customers. And let's see where you go. Thanks.